Hello guys, Carne Asada here, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generations. A while back, I had done a bit of a Let's Play on this. Uh, it was all recorded using my phone. I wasn't too happy with the way that it came out, and I honestly wanted to do it again. Uh, I have much better equipment now to be doing this with. Uh, as you can see by the tiny little icon in the bottom right hand of my screen, I am actually doing this on my computer. Uh, I got an Android emulator that runs absolutely fantastically, and I will be doing a lot more Android-based games using this in the future. Games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generations, Vainglory, and Fallout Shelter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Today we're going to be taking on Weevil Underwood. Uh, you haven't seen this before, but I have been spending absolutely far too much time trying to beat this guy. He is a jerk. An absolute jerk face. I hate trying to play against him. So, uh, let's go! And I'm still using the starter deck because I'm a plebe. Uh, rock. Rock beats scissors. Uh, I will be second to go. Uh, as you guys know, second to go is usually best because you can't do anything on the first turn anyway. So if you are turn number two, you actually have it better. Alright. So let's see what he goes ahead and plays against me today. What we got here? Face down defense and probably a trap knowing him. Something that's not going to negate either my trap or magic card. Uh, da, 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 da. That's bad for defense. What do we got here? That's fantastic. All right, we're going to set that so that if he decides to attack, he'll end up catching this. When this card is normal summon, you can target a monster with a thousand or less attack in your graveyard. Special summon that target in the face up defense position. Nah, not worth. All right, heart of the underdog. <laughs> this is. This is this is really important to have this early. During your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it. Draw one more card. Activate. <sighs> That's going to be super important because I am using the starter deck, but um, I'm not sure if I have Exodia in this deck or not. I think I do. That'd be nice. When a monster you control declares an attack until the end phase, that monster gains 700 attack. Also, if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to him. Hmm. Set that. Uh, activate only when your opponent declares an attack against the face-up normal... Uh, normal monster you control. Destroy all monsters on the field except the face-up attack position normal monsters. Set. And what do we got here? I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Activate only one monster is sent from the field to your graveyard. Select and destroy one monster on the field. You can activate that. Ah, ha ha You're coming with me. Alright. Let's go ahead and end phase. Alright. They're drawing. Stand by. What are they playing? Forest. Insect, Beast, Plant, and Beast Warrior. That might end up helping me. An insect-type monster equipped with this card increases its attack and defense by 300. Shit. Did it kill it? No. Haha. <laughs> Fool. As a matter of fact, you took damage, you jackass. Alright. Uh, no. No. That is the most annoying feature about this game. <sighs> no. Twister, pay 500 life points to destroy one face-up spell or trap card. Worth. Yep. Okay. Not for you. Summon. Battle phase. Attack. Kill that. Knock it off the board. No. Negate attack. Crap. At least I got his trap off the field. You know, he can't do anything with that now, which is good. Sweet. 
Swarm of Locusts. Once per turn, you can change this card to the face down position. When this card is flip summon, target one spell or trap card your opponent control. Oh no! Oh, what the hell? You can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. <sighs> yeah. Say goodbye to your swarm of locusts, asshole. God. I needed that underdog, too. There, take some life points. Jerk. What do you have up your sleeve now? Um... Select one monster on your opponent's side of the field and return it to the owner's hand. No, I'm just going to summon that. I don't trust that. Wait a minute, what do we got here? Uh... Ooh. Boom. There we go. Let's do some uh, let's do some damage. Let's wipe those two cards off the field. Damn. Why is its defense so high? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. There we go. Let's get that the hell off the field. <sighs> it's just... The thing with Weevil, I've noticed, is it's about making sure he doesn't have control of the field. If he gets enough cards out on the field, he can just spam the hell out of you. That's not good. Oh, come on with the friggin' parasites. You know what? I swear if that's a cocoon, I'm going to be livid. Screw it, just set it. Come on. All right. Damn. 2,000 to the face. That must hurt. Yeah. Suck it, Weevil. Come on, what do we got here? Ah, uh, it, it's 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 worth it's worth summoning. It's worth attacking with. Let's let's do this. Uh, all right. So, what was it that I could do with this one? I could detach one X Y Z material from this card. Then target one face up monster. That's right. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack this first. 
All right. Oh, we killed it. Jolly good day. Um, if it was stronger than my uh, my wing dragon, I was gonna discard an XY so that I could actually kill it, or he'd be forced to give up a thousand life points. Uh, that would just allow for direct attack, but luckily enough, I'm allowed 4,000 direct attack damage to him. Uh, you know, I got lucky with this one, because I was able to keep him from having control. Um, as long as I don't pull out one of those parasites, um, I should be okay. Now, the, the other thing, too, is I, I'm sure I'm gonna have a wipe the next round, which is fantastic. Um, but the other thing is... If I do pull it, that actually can be a boon for me if somehow he manages to heal himself. Because that actually gives me an extra, I think it's 200 or 300 attack to each one of my monsters because they've all become insects. But, um, wow. I'm... Alright, I'm just going to hit him straight to the face. Um... Oh, never mind. I'm just going to go straight to the face. I'm going to put him out. I'm going to put him out of his misery. So, you guys watched me finally beat Weevil for the first time. Um, I've probably fought him at least a good seven, eight times before this. Um, now, again, I had been doing all of this on my phone, and it didn't seem to transfer a lot of the content over. Um, but yeah, okay. So, got a bunch of points here that I can use. I actually almost have enough for a card pack, so you know what? I think I actually do have enough for a card pack. Let's go ahead and open up a card pack before uh, we end this episode. Let's see if we got anything uh, worth having. Oh, that's right, I got Swarm of Scarabs now. That's awesome. Did you just win it? Did you just win again? My analytics did not project a victory so soon. Good work. Yeah. You wouldn't have been saying that earlier. Alright. Oh, I do. I do. I think I have enough for two packs. Awesome. Chronomaly Golden Jet. Kuwagata. Machine King Prototype. Bouncer Guard, and Behemoth, the King of All Animals. Not bad, not bad. Alright, what else we got? Counter Cleanser. Oh, nice. Hero's Rule, Patrol Robo, Volcanic Queen, and Killer Needle. Awesome. Alright, so I got to open two packs. We finally beat Weevil. I'm I'm pretty ecstatic. Um, I'm kind of happy to be back into this game. It's been a while. It's been a lot of fun for me. It shows my nerd side. And hopefully you guys are... Uh, you guys stick around for the ride. Because I, I plan on doing possibly daily episodes of this. So if you like this video, please, please, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share. Let everybody know I'm back at it. Alright, so I've been Carne, this has been Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Generations, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Adios.